Hey guys, Dan the Man 92 back again with another video for you guys. Wow, it's a few times this week that I posted a video. Wow, crazy, isn't it? Anyway, uh, this video will be talking about uh, power tools I have and stuff like that, which you'll see, well, you would have seen by now, most recent tools I got, and you'll see in tomorrow's video, well, you guys already know the other power tools I have, so just explaining some stuff in this video, so stay tuned. So, some of you may be wondering why I have so many different brands in here. Like, my workbench is starting to stockpile with just different battery chargers. I have the Hercules, DeWalt, Bauer, and now Milwaukee, which soon gonna upgrade that one to one that does 18 and 12 volt because I plan on getting so into the 18 volt line again. Some of you may already know that I used to have pretty much just Milwaukee. Had to sell all of them because I was, I needed that money to pay some bills, but it is was. That's why I went to cheaper brands like Hercules and Bauer. But for a little while I had the DeWalt, ended up trading that with one of my co-workers for something. So, had a drill. So, again, um, now I'll explain a little bit of this a briefer version in tomorrow's video, just in case you guys don't see tomorrow's video. But, <clears throat> so, I have decent assortment of Bauer, decent assortment of Hercules, more of Milwaukee, and one DeWalt, which I'm gonna get some more DeWalt soon, hopefully. That way we can build them up. Anyway, the reason why I just have different assortment is one, if I'm going to if I'm gonna use it only, or I think I'm only gonna use it a few times, I'm gonna get a cheaper brand. If it's something that I know right off the bat that I'm gonna use a lot of, <clears throat> I will get a more, uh, better brand. One that has better quality, um, better reviews, just better known, which would mainly be Milwaukee and DeWalt. Not saying that Bauer and Hercules are bad, they all, do their job, and I honestly, I really like my Bauer and my Hercules. I think I actually might like Hercules a little bit better, especially this quarter inch impact wrench. I've used this a few times, and it's pretty good, pretty decently powered, especially for a 12 volt line. But I like it, especially for the price. Like this one right here, I think it was like $49 or something like that, but pretty cheap, but pretty good tool. And then this screw gun I have, I think it might've been like 40 bucks or so, maybe less, I am i don't remember. But some people, I know I, I posted in a uh, Milwaukee group on Facebook that I've been a member of for a while, like just a picture, just a picture of just pretty much just this right here, what you see. Some people are like, why do you need to have, what was it, one, two, three impact drivers, two different impact wrenches, and two drills. Like, why do you need that many? My answer is, why not? I'd rather have two than one. Because if you think about it, <clears throat> because I don't have like two or three chargers for every individual tool, except for the Milwaukee and the DeWalt, for the Bauer and Hercules, I have one battery for each. So if, one battery dies, then I can just go right to another brand. Now, some people might just say, well, why don't you just get another battery? That way you don't have to hold, buy a whole new battery line and plat platform, whatever. The answer is, I don't know. <laughs> I like buying tools, but I, I mean, I am planning on getting 
at having at least two batteries for each tool. And I definitely plan on upgrading these ones to the, I think they're the six ohm ones. So I'll have a few more of those. Plan on getting a bigger one of the Bauer. Same with the Hercules. I mean, does anyone else just buy like a tool, like say like, like, uh, let's see, what's a good example? Uh, right, let's go with, let's go with this, Hercules. Screw gun, like 40 bucks. Or I could go with like a Milwaukee or DeWalt and spend double, if not triple the price. And does the Hercules work? Yes. Will it outperform the Milwaukee and the DeWalt? Probably not. But at the same time, who cares? I mean, it, it's nice to have a variety, especially if one tool just like flat out breaks. Like for some reason, let's just say, all right, we'll just go with this one. Or actually, no, let's go with this one. Say this one just goes up in smokes. It goes up in smoke. Then if I just have the one line, it's like, Oh fuck, I don't, I don't have anything else. That's why, boom, I got the screw gun. Boom, I have this impact driver. So it's like, it's nice to have a variety and I'm gonna keep doing that too. Like I said, I plan on getting the 18 volt. I plan on getting more DeWalt. Like I've gotten a, what was it? accomplishment at my job i was there for i've been there for five years so gave me a little plaque that says thank you for your for your hard work and here's a little plaque that says happy five year anniversary here and then on top of that i go through a list of stuff and i can pick like a, a reward for it and one of the best things that i saw in there was a dewalt da it's corded though but at the same time doesn't really matter but I'll have a DA. And you know what? I plan on, I was actually planning on possibly getting the Bauer DA or the Milwaukee DA. Milwaukee DA is an 18 volt, so might be going an 18 volt line too. So, but I like to just have multiples of things. That way if something happens, <clears throat> I will always have a backup. Like I plan on getting um, Milwaukee half inch drill or even a Bauer half inch drill or Hercules. Actually, the Hercules I need to go, I'm probably going to be getting their other line too. But, <clears throat> sorry, losing my voice a little bit, I'm getting over a cold. But anyway, it's like, it's nice to just have a variety of stuff. It's nice, like, some days, like, you might not want to spend like $180 on a tool, whereas you could just spend like, maybe like, 50 to $80 on a tool. And then it's like, if you end up starting to realize you're gonna use a lot, then buy the a more expensive one. Or if you just like this the cheaper tool, then just use the cheaper tool. It's not that big of a deal. But I know some of these might not look like I've used any of them, but <clears throat> I have used this quarter inch one, I've used Use the drill once or twice, use this impact driver once or twice, use this, I think once. <laughs> all my Milwaukee tools, I did not use them at all. And the DeWalt drill, I've used that like a dozen or so times. And even, even this, this little screwdriver, I've used this a handful of times. I, I used it the other day. And... Can't forget about this little screwdriver. This thing freaking rocks. Especially with all the smaller bits in it. Oh, it's just so, so useful. I actually got, might remember I used to have a uh, precision screwdriver set that used to just live right there. I got rid of that and just started using this. So much nicer. So I have a better assortment for, yeah. 
But anyway, you guys, just wanted to go off on that little rant right there. But yeah, anyway, what tool brands do you guys represent? Like for battery powered tools? Which ones do you like? Which ones do you not like? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone.